Digging Deeper, where we help you lock eyes with Jesus and take a step towards Him. Today's scripture reading is 1 Peter 3, verses 14 through 15. God's word says this, But even if you should suffer for righteousness' sake, you will be blessed. Have no fear of them, nor be troubled. But in your hearts, honor Christ as holy, always being prepared to make a defense to anyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you. Yet do it with gentleness and respect. This passage speaks to what it looks like for us to always be prepared to give reason or to give defense for our faith. And it starts off by saying that, hey, if you're going to suffer for righteousness sake, you're going to be blessed for it. That if you are following Jesus and you experience suffering because of that, you will be blessed and be encouraged. It says here that have no fear of them, nor be troubled, but instead in your hearts, honor Christ as holy. And we do this by always being prepared to make a defense that we are to be prepared to tell anyone at any time of the hope that that is in us. When I was in graduate school, I had a professor who tell, told me that I need to be prepared to pray, preach, and die at a moment's notice. That we as followers of Jesus need to be prepared to tell somebody of the hope that we have in Christ. I just want you to imagine, let's just say that tomorrow as you head to work or you're in one of the different spaces and places that, that God has you, and someone comes up to you and says, I notice that there that you have a hope that is in you. What's that about? What would you say? Would you be able to give a defense? Would you be able to provide a reason? Would you be prepared to tell them about the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus? Because this is what this passage is calling us to do. And I love that, that Peter provides a little bit of nuance. He even says that we're supposed to do this with gentleness and respect. That we are not meant to be a bull in a china shop, but we are meant to be power rightly controlled. This idea of gentleness is power and wisdom all wrapped up in one. That we do it with gentleness and we do it with respect. That we're not meant to hit people over the head with the Bible, but with gentleness and respect, we are called to give a reason for the hope that is in you. So today, may you maybe take some time to, how would you tell somebody of the hope that is in you. Maybe we prepare for that today and may we just once again consider that if we suffer for righteousness sake, blessing and that we don't have to fear nor be troubled, but we need to honor Christ as holy. What a gift it is to be called God's child. Let's pray. Our Father, thank you for your word. I pray that by the power of your spirit, Father, that 1 Peter 3 verses 14 and 15 would change us into the likeness of Christ. And Lord, we just declare today that we do have a great hope in you, that we can know you and that we can live with you forever. And so, Father, I pray that great hope would just swell up in us. Um, and Father, that we would be able to give a clear and a definite reason for that hope that we have in Christ. And so, Father, I pray for, for my brothers and sisters who will share their faith. I pray they would do that with gentleness and respect. Father, may they do so in such a way that would consider that would, they would um, honor Christ as the Holy One. Father, that we wouldn't fear nor be troubled by those that would cause us to, to stumble, but, Father, that we would be prepared. Father, we pray this now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.